What's up guys, welcome back to Daniel Talks Football right here on YouTube. I am Daniel and we are back with another video. In this video, we are going to be doing my semi-final predictions. There are four teams left in the World Cup now and in this video, you're going to find out who I think will make the final. Before we do get into this one though, make sure to like the video, make sure to comment down below, make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to go and follow the Instagram and the TikTok Daniel Talks Football on both. And we will get right into the video with Argentina versus Croatia. Now, later on tonight, I think this is going out on Tuesday, I think. Later on tonight, you have Argentina playing Croatia. The game will kick off at 7 o'clock UK time with the game happening at the Luzel Iconic Stadium. The game will be shown on ITV. And who's going to win this one? I'm really torn here because I've liked Argentina's run so far. Obviously, they topped the group on six points after that opening day loss to Saudi Arabia. They followed that up with a 2-0 win versus Mexico and Poland. They then beat Australia two goals to one before that penalty shootout victory over the Netherlands in which they showed a side which you don't usually see to Argentina, a little bit of maybe a cocky side. I do like certain members of this Argentinian side though and obviously I think everybody wants to see Argentina do well because it will be Messi's final World Cup. I think after full time this one's going to be a draw. And it's going to go to extra time and it's still going to be a draw. And I think Argentina, they're going to win this one on penalties. I think it's going to be a 5-3 win to Argentina on penalties because you look at Croatia's run. Obviously they finished second in their group behind Morocco, the other semi-finalist. After a 0-0 draw versus Morocco, a 4-1 win versus Canada, and then another 0-0 draw versus Belgium. They've had two 1-1 draws before taking it to penalties and winning in both. So if they are to win this game, then they will probably win it with a 1-1 draw and taking it to penalties. That's how they seem to be doing it so far this tournament. They seem to be trying to get to penalties because they know they've got a good advantage. They've got some good takers, and obviously Livakovic is a very good goalkeeper. However, I just think Croatia, they're going to win. They're, they're going to lose this one. I can't see them beating this Argentinian side. Look, they've got some good players in there. People like Kramaric, Perisic, Kovacic, Brozovic, Modric, still at the age of 37. Juranovic of Celtic, who's now 27, looks excellent. Josko Gvardiol, obviously, attracting that interest from Chelsea. Yet. And he is really good. Livakovic, as I've already mentioned. But I just think Argentina, they're going to pick them at this one. So I'm going to go for a Argentinian win on penalties. And then moving in to Wednesday's game, we have France versus Morocco. Now, we'll start with Morocco's run. Obviously, Morocco topped their group after a 0-0 draw to Croatia, a 2-0 win versus Belgium, and then a 2-1 win versus Canada. They then went to Spain in the semi-finals and beat them on penalties. 3-0 on penalties, of course, with Spain not scoring a single one past Bono before beating Portugal 1-0 in the quarter-finals. They come up against a French side who started the tournament with a 4-1 win versus Australia before following that up with a 2-1 win versus, the, versus Denmark. France obviously then lost 1-0 to Tunisia with a heavily rotated side before beating Poland 3-1 and obviously beating England two goals to one in what was a cruel game for the English. I'm torn on what happens here. Obviously, the game's being shown on BBC. It's at the Albait Stadium. I think after I think after full time, this is going to be a 1-1 draw. I think Morocco are going to be up for this one. They're the first African side in the World Cup semi-final ever, I do believe. And I think they're going to be up for this one. They're going to want to do it for Africa, the whole of Africa. Morocco, to get into this stage, means there will be an extra African place now in the next World Cup, which is obviously big for the for that nation. For that nation, for that continent, sorry. But I just think in extra time, after a 1-1 draw in normal time, I think France is going to pip them. I think we'll end up being 2-1 to France after extra time. They'll go through to face Argentina in the final. Who do I think is going to win that one? Uh, well, you'll have to wait and see. But I just think France, they've got too much this Moroccan side. And yeah, I think France is going to do it. Who do you think is going to win at both of these games? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you all again in the next one. See ya!